Hi, my name is Scott Lawrence. I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about how to edit with this footage. Um, one of the ways that you can do it, of course, is to take your synchronized footage here. Let's uh, get out the razor blade and cut this off. So we're just working with a little piece of it here. Um, zoom in so that we can actually see our clip. So there is our clip. Um, one way that you can do it is by destructively going in here to this timeline and say you want to take out this section here, line it up, cut out the part that you don't want, select with the razor blade, then hit uh, A to give you back the regular cursor, delete that section, close gap, I right click there to get up that menu, and now there's a an edit right there. Uh, which you can you can see over here. That's one way to do it. Um, let's get all that back. Another method that you can use is if you go in here to your browser for your project, let's uh, rename this to be raw footage. Now if we right click, create a new sequence and call this our edited footage and we open that up. Here you can see it's an empty timeline. Now what we can do is if we take the, the raw footage and plop it down in here, we have one clip that we can work from here if we want to make edits, but if you notice it's still interlaced and it's still ready to go for, for the eyewear. So you can actually just make cuts in here all you want and we can just delete out sections, however, whatever your process is for, for editing. So chunk, chunk, close gap. So there we have, you can see here that it is edited. So there you go. That's uh, two ways that you can edit this footage. Um, obviously, these are just two out of many. There's all sorts of different ways that you can do this. Um, I find that this one works okay, but the problem here is that if you want to change any settings or resynchronize your footage, uh, it's difficult at best. Um, the problem with just editing in the raw footage is that you will, it, if you decide that you want to change something here, and you go in here to uh, where is that window? There it is. If you go in here and you want to adjust, you know, the convergence for this one clip here, now this clip and this clip also have to be adjusted too. So, you know, see 54 there, but here it's still 21. So, so six of one, half a dozen of the other. There you go. 